But since Russia denies providing any military support to the separatists, they stick to the official line. And to help push that line, the DPR has its very own news agency, Doni, whose reporters are apparently not afraid to resort to a bit of fakery from time to time. We overheard this conversation between a Doni journalist and a DPR commander. Despite the elaborate communications effort, there is much that can't be hidden. All over Donetsk, you see these Russian-produced Ural trucks with Russian army number plates. There are also numerous armoured personnel carriers. The DPR has organised its ragtag forces into an army of sorts. It's 50,000 strong, according to the separatist authorities. And all are equipped, trained and paid.